What up, YouTube? It's Cycles All Day. We are back with some more Horizon Zero Dawn. Let's get back into it. We've got quite a journey ahead of us in order to uh, find out what in the entire hell is uh, what Project Zero Dawn. Yeah. Uh, let's check the map. We gotta go all the way over here. And the closest campfire is this bad boy. Oh, falling. Oh, it was in the air. Can't can't travel if you're jumping. <laughs> Who would have thought? All right, let's jump over and then get on in there. Okay. Well, hello there for your surprise. I guess. Well, hello to you too. As soon as I jump in there, you guys are gonna try and fight me? What's wrong with y'all, man? What's wrong with y'all? What's this? Like, give me a five seconds to just relax. God damn. Anyway, we're we're gonna get on out there, do our thing. Saving these for the trail. Let's see, twelve hundred steps this way. Campfire straight ahead. Looks like I've been up this way though. I mean, I guess I haven't, but it's all good. Anyway, what's going on with you guys? I hope you guys enjoyed last episode, even though it was a bit long. I did what I had to do, because sometimes you just... Oh, that's behind the wall. Sometimes you just can't cut everything out of the video, so you have no choice but to just play it all. Hey, it's a boar. Alright, cool. Ah, oh, I love these arrows. They're so strong. Let me grab this as well. Anyway, I just wanted to say thank you guys so much for watching my videos. It's not a lot of views, but damn it, 10 to 11 consistently? I'd say it's pretty good so far, and I appreciate that you guys are really giving me a nice little boost in, uh, Boosting love, honestly. So just just keep on doing what you're doing, guys. If you can, just share the videos. It really does help me out, and I really do mean it helps me out. Cause by sharing my videos, it allows me to know that what I'm doing is something that works. Ooh, okay. Okay, it's a raccoon. No, I haven't had a raccoon yet. But yeah, it, it lets me know that what I'm doing is working, and that you guys are actually enjoying it to the point where. You want someone else to watch it, so as all, I just I just want you guys to know that it gives me pleasure, it gives me hope, it makes me happy that you know you guys are willing to. Uh, did I press the campfire already? Did I pass it already? I don't know if I passed it. Let me check. Anyway, but yeah, but like I say, it just makes me. It, it, it gives me. It gives me the, the the energy and the the love to do some more. So keep peak. on doing it, and uh, and it'll be a nice journey along. And I'm I'm, I'm glad that you guys are with me. Now, uh, I'm probably gonna just jump fast forward because that's a lot of damn steps. I'm not showing any focuses at that location. Shouldn't be anything you can't handle on your own. Carry on. Thanks. On my own, all right. Okay, so I see a few people over there. Somebody didn't die. Okay, that's that's a bit blinding. Ooh, okay. 
finish. Instead of playing up, aren't you? It's like the clips ain't even the big of a deal right now. All this ammo I got, like shit, let's go. Is there anybody else around here? Cause I don't know. Oh, is that a corruptor? Oh, so doing that other well then again they, they are kind of reviving them so you know just go to this. I I don't see anybody so let's just keep run. But seriously look at that thing. I hope that's not a boss. Ooh, look at this mountain, though. The grave hoard. We're here. In the shadow of a metal devil. Great. Jesus, what is that? Well, I don't see anybody. So it could just be by itself. Okay, great board, here we are. So much for being careful. Tanky. Then again, he did have a. He's he's probably a heavy guy because he had a gun. So, all right. Next time, I'm going to kill those guys first before I fight the Watcher because I didn't think there was anybody else in there. Yeah. Can't see you. Oh, you're in my face. That does it. Time to take a look around the room. Oh, that was it. Oh, okay. I guess I looked this right apart last time. Won't happen again. That is for damn certain. All right, guys, time for some exposition. Looks like quite an enduring victory we put our foot in today. Looks like quite an enduring victory we put our foot in today. Contact in 30 seconds. Hey, I think that's enough time for Sobek to... Silence, you getting this? What is it? All these soldiers. They died here. People die all the time. I'll keep going and find something interesting. Actually, I, I, I need to finish this into it. I think I skipped it. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Where is she at? Operation Enduring Victory. What did that mean? <laughs> Whatever it was, it didn't seem to have turned out very well. Where was she at? I want to try to listen to it again. I don't think I uh, did it correctly. I must have pressed triangle on accident and skipped it. Kind of unfortunate. Where is she? Oh, well, that's something else. Oh, that where is she? I no longer see the spirits of the speaker. Uh Wait, wait, wait. Looks there like we go. quite an enduring victory we put our foot in today. Contact in 30 seconds. Hey, I think that's enough time for Sobek to finish Zero Dawn. <laughs> <laughs> if this 
is really it. I gotta say, it's been an honor to serve beside these tanks. <laughs> Here it comes. Greece for contact! What the hell are they fighting? Jesus, what the hell was that? Alright, let me see. Can I go this way? And there's nothing over here? Nope. There's nothing around here. Let's go. Why do I feel like something's in here? Must have been where the soldier slept. Third battle of the California Marine. Heart, I guess. The swarm came in from the Pacific and I don't know if it was the local Minutemen or the Crazy 15th, but they'd set the garbage patch alight. Man, the sea was on fire. That stuff was... What was this place? The first wave of bots came in covered in burning sludge. It bought us an hour or two of slaughtering them on the beaches before the swarm recalculated. We pulled them inland, back through the Kalmar sprawl. Dropped buildings on them, EMP'd the grid. Standard operating procedure. <sighs> the last time I was in California, I was five, six. The light was like that vintage social net filter that was everywhere in the 40s. Wow. She's old. Recalls, I've been instructed to remind you of Article 115 of base policy regarding unauthorized use of processor cycles. Specifically, 115C. Any holographic simulation not directly related to operational training or efficiency. Consider yourself reminded and enjoy your gaming. Haha, <laughs> thank you for the gaming good tip. I know it's been days, honey. I'm so sorry. Deployments are getting real long and tougher every time. The swarm is getting better at predicting us. Less of us now, and we have to put in ten times the work for everyone gone. Like a family business on hard times, only... This isn't my family. It's not with you. I still try to see you. The life we had, in the eyes of the people out there. I remember when they were glad to see us. When they still had hope. It all seems to be slipping away. I don't even recognize the places we're defending. The only thing I know I'm still fighting for is Death you. Flag. The Zero Dawn to turn this around. Or whatever the hell that is. Thanks for the mails, you. Time goes fast on active duty. Four months with the wreck and recalls. I don't know. Twenty drops. In and out of the West Coast, fighting with these civilian enlistees, scrappy guys and gals. Their training is basically, here's a DEW, when you see a bot, hit it. <laughs> but somehow it's all coming together. Between us and the 6th MRB, we took down a horse at Lithium Beach. Pulled out before its buddies arrived, but to see a big one go down. I hope you made the news, honey. Showed everyone we're gonna have a shot at turning this around. We just need to give Project Zero Dawn the time it needs, and everything will be the way it used to be. What is Zero Dawn, bruh? Let me this one already. Log. Okay, Third Battle of California else. Marine. The swarm came in from the Pacific. And I don't know if it was the local Minutemen or the Crazy 15th. Okay, yeah, but... I that one. Log. First battle of the Eastern Seaboard Wall. Had a long run up to it. This was before Calmar. And projections were a lot worse sure for the East. For three weeks, we kept oh, getting yeah. scrambled out to some coastal burb to train Minutemen. It was always raining so. on account of Europe already being torched. Block after block of prefab barracks. They were still printing barracks right up until the hour the main force hit. The Minutemen? 
We ran combat Ah, oh, shit. The Minutemen? Okay. We ran combat drills with them in the streets where they'd lived. Trying to pretend they might live to die somewhere else if they paid attention. Nothing worse than the ones who actually bought into it. Hopeful, pestering us with questions about Zero Dawn like we know something they don't. I swear. The more we do this, the more like the bots we are. Except they learn from every fight. And us? I'm not so sure. They must have had some trouble times. This does not sound like they had an easy fight at all. Still with all those damn machines that were learning and everything? Good God. You can only imagine, bruh. <laughs> Just one bed. Maybe they're war chief's room. <laughs> war chief. That's a notebook. That was an audio log. Let's see. Is there supposed to be something on the ground? Oh no, that right there actually. Okay, well, that's it, that's it. I guess we can keep going now. Yeah, I guess we can keep going down. Let's see if there's anything else around here. Just so the off chance you may find something. These wires must run to the power source. Do we have to examine this door? Red light. Guess that means no power. Oh, of course. I wonder why the occultists are here, though. Like, who are they? What do they want? Some of this stuff. I haven't seen one of these since I was a little kid. There must be some kind of code. Maybe I should try scanning objects in this area. What kind of objects are there? Oh, that's informative. I I guess. I mean, it's, I guess it's informative. I, I don't I don't really know. Oh wait, actually. So up, down, left, right. Oops, wrong one. Let's go uh, up, down, left, right. Up, down, left, right. Three power lines. Resources. That makes one. <coughs> Whoa, excuse me. Sitting on my nose for a second. <laughs> Spider Man. Let's see what this one has to say. Hey, yo. Oh, shit, sorry. Y'all wanted to know how I remember the geotherm system reboot? Goes like this. Bird flies north in summer, east in spring, west in fall, and south in winter. 
didn't expect to hear nature's poetry from the lips of Mike the GT Tech now, did you? As usual, I defy expectations. There we go. Sounds like they're dead. It was quite silly, actually. <laughs> Let's go ahead and this door, see what's up. Oh, I keep finding these power cells. Oh, power cell, cool. What do they do? I see people. Okay, and that's all the people that's there. All right, cool. Now right, let's see how we can make this work. Where's everybody at? Those things you gotta read, I guess. I can't spare the weight. Okay, here we go. What is this? That? It's a map. A map of what? Our world. The planet Earth, Aloy. It's not flat like you thought. Why would I think that? During eclipses, the shadow cast on the moon is curved. So our world is a globe. Smart girl. It looks like this, from a distance. We'll discuss this another time. Back to the matter at hand. The Faro robots were spreading across the world, eating everything up. Somehow, Elizabeth stopped them before it was too late. But how? Stuff in this cave. I must understand. I must find out. Oh, okay. Just making sure it's nothing serious. Oh, 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 what's over here? No, oh, so there's nothing in here. Okay, just making sure. You never know sometimes. in here. Woo! The hell is this thing? The eclipse. Tampering with a metal devil. They don't think they can wake it, do they? Shit. Watch out! Did this make that? It's a moving one. Another Kalish. And this one can move. Kill them all. 
just one nice swoop. I'm gonna kill the people first and then I'm gonna spend my time fighting that guy. Cause this is gonna be really, really silly. Okay. 
fire one of these. Oh, freeze. That sounds like it's like a bitch. <laughs> Making sure that nobody left. Then again, I'm not worried about people. I'm just worried about the machines, honestly, because the people, they ain't no, they ain't no issue to me. C nine plus number sign. There, where I gotta go. There's something over here, I think. Right? Right? No, I guess not. This, there is. There's a supply chain. Oh, never mind. It's just a little. Maybe words? Biosphere degradation? Oh, okay. in here at least. Okay, let's see. That's a lot of items. Let's see what this says. Thank you, Dr. Sobek. You can take a seat. After what she just said? Dr. Sobek has made the situation very clear, General, and given us an option. We should all be thanking her. No, oh, it's just... I mean, my God! Maybe take this discussion offline. There's not going to be any discussion. You saw the numbers. Now, Pharaoh, he'll foot the bill, but his money can't buy the time necessary to complete Zero Dawn. That... That can only be paid for in blood. Oh, come on. If we upgrade our fleet, crack the code somehow... Uh... Were you not listening? Robots can't do the fighting for you this time. 
When it comes to hacking, this rogue swarm is an apex predator. Anything automated you throw at it, they will hijack and take over. But this? We'd be throwing civilians into a meat grinder. Commanders, the enemy we're facing self-replicates faster than we can kill it. And it eats biomass as fuel. Zero Dawn is all we've got. So we put a railgun in the hand of every civilian strong enough to carry one, show them where the trigger is, and point them to the front? How the hell do we sell that? By giving them something to fight for. Zero Dawn. The top secret super weapons program that will save us. So long as humanity holds off the swarm long enough for Dr. Sobek and her team to finish it. The file I'm sending contains the war plan for Operation Enduring Victory. War plan? This is a war crime. It may be ugly, but it's something. Consider the alternative. Dr. Sobek, I've secured use of a decommissioned orbital launch base outside Bryce, Utah as the Zero Dawn staging area. Plenty of space there. When can you get started? I've already mailed you a list of Alpha and Beta candidates. Most are foreign nationals or subjects of corporate holdings, so extracting them... Leave that to me. You'll get your dream team. Cap time. Then I'll be off. So she made a weapon? Wait, what? So... Elizabeth do? So, is it like a giant orbital weapon? Like a satellite gun? Glad to be rid of that place. Now I just need to find the orbital launch base they talked about. I've checked my data and located the base. That's the good news. And the bad? It's directly underneath the Citadel. The palace at Simfall. The capital of the Shadow Karja. Not exactly convenient. The palace is crawling with Eclipse agents. Many in positions of authority, all of them wearing focuses. The moment they see you, Hades will too. He'll issue another kill order, and this time, the entire Shadow Karja military will be after you. <laughs> so, disable their focuses. You've done it before. It's not that simple. Too many focuses in one place. Each of them communicating with each other and back to Hades. A whole network of them. Network? What's that? Uh, imagine a vast, invisible web stretched across the land from end to end, connecting focuses together, allowing them to communicate over vast distances instantaneously. All right. So, is there some way to cut the web down? Hmm. Crash the network. Audacious. Yes. There is a way. A weak point in the network. Point the way. I'll send the location data to your friends. Crazy. Focus. Okay, so head there, and I'll be in touch when you're close with more directions. What was Zero Dawn? What sort of super weapon did Elizabeth make? She stopped the machines. Not before the world she knew her civilization ended. Exactly, bro. come to that again. Like, she destroyed the machines essentially, or whatever. She stopped them. But at the expense of what? Because look at this big motherfucker right here. This joint is huge. It's literally a mountain, bruh. Alright, let's see what he uh, he said to go to. Oh, back over this side. Why is everything always back and forth? Location is silence. Uh, local. Okay. Oh, man. It's just so much stuff that you just don't understand or know right now, man. Just, I just want to know what is going on and what happened to the damn earth, bruh. Like, seriously, what happened? And why are there big dark spots in the ground? It's like, did it get... S Yo, wait. Did these dark spots get, like, hit the hardest? Bruh. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, I definitely played this for a long time today, anyway. So I'll see you guys later. Uh, I'm gonna just jump to this. I can't fast travel at this time. Why? Oh, I guess I gotta go down. But how do I go down? Now, how am I gonna get down from here? Oh, this should be quite the ride. Oh, well.
where am I gonna ride down from though? Or do I just keep on jumping down until I get to the bottom? Because I can do that! Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed. I will see you guys later. It's been fun, it's been pleasurable, it's been crazy. And easy, easy. I hope you guys uh, continue to uh, watch my videos. Also, sharing is caring, so be sure to share my stuff. It'll be nice and fun to get more people in, you know, involved. And uh, I will see you guys later. I will just teleport after I cut the video, and uh, I can't wait to find out what's going on, what's more stuff to learn. And uh, do this, guys. I wasn't part of my film anyway. Huh, that was going to work. Yay, I'll see you in the next one. Let's go. I don't want to take this power.